Hey guys, it's Shade from Polygon Motion, and in this tutorial, we will be talking about a very cool feature of new version of After Effects, CC 2015, Compositing Options. Okay, what is Compositing Options? Although After Effects CC 2015 and also 2016 that I'm using in here has a lot of other features, best features of all time, for example, creating mask tracking options, face tracking, and these other stuff. But one of the cool options, one of the cool new features for compositing and visual effects is the compositing options. Compositing option allows you to add effect to a specific area of footage without copy pasting the actual footage. Let me show you what of this option, how can we achieve, for example, I want to add a blur in this area of footage, for example, removing this logo. Okay, at the first, to create a blurness, we just uh, duplicate the actual layer and go to fast blur and add a blurness to that and mask it out like this and maybe a little bit repeated ages in here and uh, sorry I have to select my mask and you see that it's blur but for example I want to add a um, brightness to this part of my footage or any other area I just to copy uh, one more duplicate and also uh, add a curve in here and then mask it out okay there's no problem at all with these uh, kind of procedure but it takes our project cleanup it's very time consuming at all okay let's lead this and I want to show you how to add a fast blur effect with compositing options very efficiently okay at the first let's create a, a mask for example in here okay and add a blurness to that like this and when I go to effect and fast blur in here I see the compositing options when I click to the plus you see that it choose the mask one has a, a specific area that you want to add a blurness to that and we can add a multiple mask if I choose here and then I go to compositing option and add a, another area you see that it is also affected and it's very dynamic and very nice with a little bit effort we can achieve great things or maybe we can add curve to that and go to curve and you have to do it for each effect individually, okay? Just add this to a specific area of that mask, you see. And it's very cool, very dynamic. For example, we can um, create a lot of other things and in here you can uh, adjust the effect opacity. It's very controllable. Okay, let's delete uh, Fast Blur and uh, I'll show you another example of that. And uh, for example, if I want to uh, create a glass title, I choose this and go to fast blur add a fast blur repeated age and go to compositing options and also maybe a little bit parallax effect to that transform and scale it up go to transform and add a compositing option now you achieve very cool title and glitch effect in a very less and a very short time. I can animate that, for example, mask pad, go to in here and make a position keyframing. You see that it's very cool and very clean. You can do a lot of uh, other things uh, with this compositing options. For example, uh, by mixing of mask tracking options and compositing, you can add a little bit brightness to some area, some part of, for example, faces or other things. Okay. That was from our today tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a review, leave comment and if you want tutorial for a specific topic about motion graphic or visual effects, uh, just uh, leave a comment to the video below or the channel and, and I will create that video, that tutorial for you and upload it in YouTube. Okay, check out our Polygon Motion videos and see you guys next time.